Hi guys, this video we're going to be having a look at the um, Rob Zombie Halloween Necker Michael Myers. I couldn't have got that all more wrong if I tried. So the Necker Rob Zombie Halloween Michael Myers figure. Um, now I have already done a video of this to be honest where I just done a quick look at the packaging because I haven't got one out of packaging but I've now been able to get hold of one out of packet for us to be able to have a bit of a better look at the Michael figure himself to be honest and um, as much as I said I didn't really like this figure um, it still doesn't endear to me as much as the um, Mezco one from Halloween 2 to be honest I, 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 I of course I love the the Rob Zombie Halloween there's no, there's no denying that and you know a lot of people don't like it but I do like it to be honest and um, and you know I'm, I know it's not Rob Zombie doing the third one but I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the third one to be honest I, do, I like the, the character of Michael Myers to be honest um, and I did actually love what what um, Rob Zombie has done with the character. Maybe not number two as much as number one, but I think a lot of people have that opinion. Um, but for me, I absolutely loved Rob Zombie's Halloween, to be honest, so it's a big thumbs up from me, and I, I love all Rob Zombie stuff, to be honest, and especially the, the Devil's Rejects and House of Thousand Corpses. Um, and obviously looking forward to Lords of Salem. But anyway, a quick look at the Michael Myers figure from Necker. Um, the, the, the problem I had, which you've probably seen in another one of my videos, is this is the Mezco figure from Halloween 2 and obviously the Necker figure from Halloween and the, the size difference is, is quite apparent obviously when you've got them side by side so would have preferred if either Necker had done the part 2 um, figure or Mezco brought out a part one um, but there's obviously some licensing issues going on there um, but anyway so that's just a quick comparison for you in the in the size you know so if you are going to have them out of packet side by side there is quite a bit of difference there but I will be honest with you now I do like the Mezco one a lot more than the Nicker one um, so in terms of articulation on this figure there's a little bit of movement in the feet not much, um, same with the Mezco one because of the, the way the overalls hang down over the, over the shoes to be honest. There's no articulation in the legs um, or the waist to be honest, although you, it's quite obvious there's a, there's a join here, I think in the, um, yeah, around the waist, but there's no, there's no movement basically all the way down. Um, we've got a lot of rotation and movement in the, in the shoulder. A rotation in the elbow only, not you can't bring it back and forward, and rotation in the hands as well. But again, not much because of the the, the, the way the collars, sorry, the, the cuffs um, stop the hand there moving. And the same on this side, to be honest, not much. Again, a swivel in the elbow and rotation in the, in the shoulder on a ball joint. Um, there's there's obviously a lot of movement in a ball joint in the in the head as well because you can replace it with the paper mache pumpkin mask head. Um, he comes with a a knife. Um, I don't have the other knife out of packet to be honest, but um, we'll have a quick look at this knife. Um, now doesn't look as good to me as the Mezco knife as well. Just looks there's bit of red on there and we can get away with warrant that being blood to be honest and so the knife isn't as good for me as the Mezco one as well um, and I do have, have a bit of issue with all the amount of blood on him as well to be honest you know his hands are basically red there's, there's virtually no skin colour there whatsoever quite a lot of blood splattered all over him and it's quite apparent that it's just haphazard because the, the same the, the blood splats on his overalls aren't in the same positions um, on both the figures so it's just a case of putting, putting a blob on here there there's got to be a bit there a bit there a bit there and a bit here but this one has to be honest a lot more blood on it than the one in packet 
Um, so I guess it's just how violent that person's feeling on the day that is doing the painting. Um, but that's the figure to be honest guys, it's not not a lot to say about it, it's not my favourite Michael Myers figure, it's not my, 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 my the one I don't like more than any is obviously the, the McFarlane original one um, from the John Carpenter's Halloween. Um, so it's not the worst um, Michael Myers figure for me but it's not my favourite. I think I just don't like the, the, the sort of stance he's in to be honest, I think that's put me off. But I do love the the 18, 19 inch one to be honest, which I'll obviously do a review of that at some point. Um, but for me, um, not my favourite Michael Myers figure to be honest. Um, but obviously if you want to know a little bit more about the packaging and things, you, know, you can obviously check out my other video. But I just want to obviously give you guys a quick look at the, at the outer packet Necker Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, just while I had one. Okay guys. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll catch you again soon. Obviously, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.